The home of the Cardinals, University of Phoenix Stadium, is the site of the Division I State Championship. Husky football is next. And for the fifth consecutive year, Steve Bellis and his Hamilton Huskies venture to Glendale, Arizona to battle for state supremacy as they take on the number one ranked Mountain Point Pride in the 2012 Division I State Football Championship game. I'm Jeff Lowry with APN Sports. So glad you could join us. A beautiful afternoon, but we'll be playing here in the Dome. And the Hamilton Huskies fresh off a 21-7 victory over Desert Ridge, while Mountain Point defeated Brophy to get to their first ever state championship game. The Huskies are trying to win their seventh uh, state title in school history. This is the uh, tenth time that they have played for a state championship, and overall they are six and three in championship play. And they've had playoff victories over Highland, Desert Vista, and as I mentioned last week, over Desert Ridge. Steve Bellis, 92 and six. He is four and two lifetime in the state championship games. He actually lost to Hamilton back when he was coaching Mountain Ridge in 2004. And ladies and gentlemen, the 2012 Hamilton Huskies, the third ranked team in the state of Arizona. Of course, these two teams met up in week number one, a 17 to 14 uh, loss for Hamilton. Of course, Hamilton started the season 0 and 2 that have reeled off 11 straight to get to this state championship game. And for Norris Vaughn, who is one of the top head coaches, I think, in the state of Arizona, 40 and 10 since taking over the helm here of the Mountain Point Pride. This is the first ever trip to a big school state championship for the Mountain Point Pride. Hard to believe with all the years that Carl Kiefer was over here. And the pride come onto the field. Mountain Point comes in with a record of 12 and one. Fresh off a 30 to nothing victory last week over the Brophy Broncos. The team captains heading towards the center of the field. They are led by Kenneth Lacey, 76. Number 51 is Aaron Blank. 23 is Garrett Craig and 26, Thomas Warren. For the Huskies, they're led by quarterback A.J. Thigpen, number 12. Number 11 is the uh, outstanding uh, defensive back in Cole Luke, number 11. Luke Parrish, number 20, the senior linebacker and big 79, Patrick Joseph, the one of the anchors on that offensive front line. You talk about some of the keys of this game, particularly for Hamilton. Last week, offense wasn't at their best. Obviously, they got to stay away from the turnovers, especially in the second half. The offensive line, I think, is going to have to establish the run early. When you talk about Mountain Point, they've got a strong defense. Athletically, they match up with Hamilton, but they got a lot of two-way players, so they got to play four quarters. They have to stay away from the turnovers, especially in the second half. And I think for them, they really got to get Jalen Brown into the mix. Uh, over 1,200 yards uh, through the air. Uh, he is a uh, talented wide receiver. He'll be uh, Division I next year. And Antonio Hinojosa has to be a good, good solid playmaker and, uh, and take care of the football. And they got to establish their run because uh, that's a big part of their offense. So we are set to go. It's a 2012 Division I state championship game on APN Sports. And welcome back to Cardinal Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Jeff Lowry with APN Sports. Cole Luke, Frankie Felix back to receive. You'll look at the rest of this very talented kick return and, and kick coverage specialist. And Ryan Sheehan getting set to kick things off. And we are ready to go. And the 2012 Division I State Championship game is underway. Felix fields from his own 12-yard line, races up across the 30, finds some daylight. He's inside Mountain Point territory, and he'll be wrapped up near the 48. A 40-yard return for King Felix, and this game is underway. Well, let's take a look at the starting lineup and this offensive front line. They've been uh, truly one of the best, if not the best, 
this year. Casey Tucker, uh, Devin Finai. The center is Gage Jones, Bryce Holland, and Patrick Joseph on the front wall. And lending protection to the senior quarterback, 6'3", 196 pounds, A.J. Thigpen. They come out running the ball on first down and 10 and a tough determination run down to the 40 for Kevin Walter. And he picks up a good eight yards on the play, and they'll bring up a second and two. The defense, no question about it. One of the top players I've seen in the, the last couple of years, uh, Natrell Curtis, 6'3", 295. He's the big nose tackle. He is simply one of the best. Hamilton looking at a second and two from the Mountain Point 40-yard line. No score, first quarter action. A.J. Thigpen, he will hand off. Waters trying to get the edge to the outside. He does. He's inside the 35 and out of bounds near the 30. A pickup of 10 yards for Kevin Walters and a first down for the 5'10", 177-pounder. Mark him out of bounds at the 28, so it's a 12-yard pickup. Tucker and Holland blocking on that left side. And now they go spread offense with Walters, the single setback. First down and 10 from the Mountain Point 28. We got a penalty marker down on the field. So a delay of game moves them back to their 33-yard line, and it'll be fi- first and 15. Well, A.J. Thigpen last week did not have his best game of the year, but his 58-yard touchdown run on a quarterback keeper That may have been the most important play of the season, and he's going to take off with it here and get it back close to the original line of scrimmage. He'll gain four. He'll be brought down by the Payne brothers, Landry and Wesley, two of the the great defensive players in the state of Arizona. They'll bring up a second and 11. They'll mark the ball at the 29. So a pickup of four yards on the play. Opening drive of the contest, 2012 Division I state championship game. A.J. Thigpen and handing off. Walters bounces to the left, gets it inside the 25 to the 24, where he's going to be brought down by Wesley Payne and big 75, Curtis. They mark the ball at the 24, a pickup of five, but still third and six for Hamilton. Crowd starting to make some noise here at the University of Phoenix, or better known as Cardinal Stadium. Thigpen on... A handoff, and this is Israel. No, this is Felix inside the red zone of Mountain Point, where he's going to be wrapped up defensively by Tyree Shivers. And move the chains. It's a first down all the way down to the 17. He needed six. He got seven. And Felix has had an outstanding year for this Hamilton Husky team. So it's first down and 10 for the Huskies. First quarter action. We are scoreless in this Division I state championship game. Walters in the backfield. He will take the snap, take the handoff after the snap to Thigpen, and he's just battling his way, taking on defenders, and including that big 75, Natrell Curtis, who weighs 295 pounds. And Walters picks up a good seven yards on the play. Down to the 11-yard line, actually a gain of six. Second and four, Walters again. He's been the workhorse, and he almost slipped the tackle near the 10 as they try to bring him down. He'll eventually be brought down by Framboni. 7.40 on the clock. Is This has been a nice sustained drive here to start things off. Third down and three for Hamilton, working from just inside the 10. Thigpen. With Walters in the backfield, he'll take the snap running right, but hold the phone, stop the play. We got a penalty marker, and I think somebody may have moved. Well, it could be offsides against the defense. And it was encroachment against the defense, so that's going to give Hamilton a first down, so a costly penalty there for the Mountain Point Pride on defense. And they're claiming that they were... uh, They were lured offside, so now it is goal to go from the five-yard line. Thick pen at quarterback, the senior. They'll send one man in motion. The give goes to Walters, tries to run it off tackle right, and he's down to about the three. Great defense. Wesley Payne, a great athlete at 5'10", 190 pounds, and only a junior. So they'll bring up a second and goal, and now the ball placed at the four-yard line. Big pin eyes over the defense. They load up the box. Now shifting to the right side. Walters straight ahead for maybe another yard. And more great defense. Landry Payne, but 
Hamilton doing a good job here. Tenth play of the drive coming up, which started back at the 48. So it is third and goal for Hamilton from the three of the Mountain Point Pride. No score, first quarter action, and we're going to get a timeout. I believe this is going to be a Hamilton timeout, and it is. So a quick timeout from the home of the Arizona Cardinals, University of Phoenix Stadium, and a scoreless tie, but Hamilton knocking on the door to break in the ice here as they will come back out third down and goal from the three. Good 10,000 people on hand for this one. Big pin under center. One man in motion. He'll step back. He'll fire into the end zone. Chad Nelson makes the catch. A three-yard touchdown, and the Huskies draw first blood. And what an impressive opening drive, eating up six minutes and 16 seconds of clock. And on the 10th play and 48 yards later, the Huskies lead it six to nothing. So Daniel Wickman in out of the hold of Sam Sasso. We got movement in the trenches. This will be half the distance to the goal. And once again, the second encroachment call against the Mountain Point Pride. A 6-0 lead for the Hamilton Huskies. We await the ensuing point after touchdown by Daniel Wickman, the senior kicker. And Sasso lays it down, and the kick splits the uprights. It's 7-0 Hamilton. First quarter action, 6 minutes and 16 seconds left to play. You're watching the Hamilton Huskies on APN Sports. Well, a great start. And I'll tell you what, this offensive line really, I mean, they just literally punched this Mountain Point defense right in the face. And that is exactly what the doctor ordered. That's exactly what Hamilton needed. And now they've, they've got the momentum, and they made a statement. Wickman will kick off. This one is going to be fielded by one of the up men. That's 21. That's Timmy Hernandez, and Hernandez found a seam and gets it across the 30, an 11-yard pickup. And our first look at the Mountain Point Pride. They're going to be led by their outstanding quarterback, Antonio Hinojosa, only a junior, 5'10", 160 pounds. In the first week of the regular season against Hamilton, he threw for 186 yards, completed 15 passes out of 27 attempts. On first down and 10, they run it straight up the middle, and the ball comes loose, but they're going to rule him down. So tremendous defense, and big Quaylen Cunningham was in there. Quaylen Cunningham, Caleb Pert getting the start. Of course, Santana... At linebacker, J uh, Jawan Jones leads the secondary. Second down and eight. Inside handoff. The ball squirts loose. It was forced out of there by Luke Parrish and recovered by Trevor Lane. And Hamilton has the ball. And defensive coordinator Lane Reynolds is all smiles on the far side of the field. What a clutch defensive play. And he's been doing it all season long. Number 20, Luke Parrish. So Hamilton will... Take over on downs. First down and 10 from the Pride 32-yard line. And here is A.J. in trouble, hitting the backfield. There is a flag down. Now races to the far side as he slipped the quarterback sack. Actually picked up a couple of yards, but it's going to be holding against Hamilton. Boy, a huge, huge turnover for Mountain Point. So not only the long sustained drive culminating in a three yard touchdown pass to get Hamilton on the board. As they're back to the 48, draw play, Walters, left side, breaks a tackle at the 42 and then dives ahead close to the 37. So a pickup of 11 yards for Kevin Walters. And it's gonna bring up a second and 14 for Hamilton who leads it seven to nothing here in the first quarter. Back to pass, one step drop, a quick slant to Israel Simpson, and he's inside the Pride 30. Where he's wrapped up defensively by Trayvon White. So now a third and manageable, third and about six. And A.J. Thigpen will hand off Felix, trying to go with an end around run, and there was just nowhere to go there, running it to that short side of the field, and. A good job of containment over there. And Landry Payne on the tackle, no gain on the play, and it brings up a fourth and about six. 
Hamilton going for it. Four down territory, leading seven to nothing here in the first quarter. Big pin. Two receivers to the slot right. He will loft it up, and Simpson had his route. It almost looked like he was being held. He is being very flamboyant in his. And that is exactly the call. You were wondering why Simpson was so far away from the ball and the holding penalty. And, boy, I'll tell you, penalties have hurt Mountain Point here early on. So it's a first down. And now it's first and 10 from the 18 of the Pride. Walters, left side, trying to get that edge, and he's out of bounds near the 13, maybe the 12-yard line. Pick up of six yards, and, boy, Walters is really establishing himself in this game. So Mountain Point, not liking what they see, calls a quick timeout. Norris Vaughn, what a wonderful guy. His team beat Hamilton in week number one. He's 40-10. and 10 since coming over back in 2009 was his first year with the Pride. Then in two, he's been in actually three of the four years that he has coached the Mountain Point Pride. He's been in the semifinals three times. And then, of course, first time in school history, Mountain Point has made it to the state championship game. Hand off Hamilton going back to work is Walters. He's inside the 10, and he is going to be wrapped up near the eight-yard line. So some punishing defense there by the... Mountain Point Pride, they are led by Aaron Blank, number 51, a team captain. So now Hamilton facing a third and one from just inside the 10-yard line. Handoff, quick dive play, and that's going to net Hamilton a first down. So an outstanding run, nine carries for 54 yards already and just some tough yardage. So now it is goal to go for the second time in two possessions in this first quarter for the Huskies. And they got a goal to go from the seven-yard line. First down. Thigpen, the quarterback. He will, well, we're going to get a stop in play here. Didn't see a flag come flying in. That is a timeout. So the second timeout used by Steve Bellis, his offensive coordinator, Deke Schutz, over there. And the Hamilton faithful in in masses here at Cardinal Stadium. So it's first and goal from the seven-yard line. Let's see what Hamilton has up their sleeves here. Here comes a blitz from the blind side and thick pin to throw, and he overshot his target incomplete. Cole Luke is out there on offense. And good pressure applied by Landry Payne. So it's second and goal from the Pride seven-yard line. Felix in motion, and they stop the play before it develops, and this is going to be a false start against the offense. So now it's second and goal from the 12. Hamilton with a 21-7 victory last week at Highland High School over the second-ranked team in the state of Arizona, the Desert Ridge Jaguars. They got partial revenge over Desert Vista, beating them in the quarterfinals. And they won't feel that revenge until they win here. Here's Thigpen going to work inside the 10, dragging a defender, and he's all the way down to the two-yard line. Looked like he was going to be wrapped up near the seven, but that determination run netted him an extra five, and he's down to the two. So it's third and goal from the Mountain Point two-yard line. First quarter action. Hamilton trying to add on to a 7-0 lead. And Walters straight ahead. And he's going to be stopped, though he lunges forward and gets it to the one. Some great defense, Aaron Blank. And now it is fourth and goal for the Huskies. And that is the end of the first quarter. With the score, Hamilton 7, Mountain Point nothing. The second quarter of this Division I state title game coming up next. Hamilton Husky football continues here on APN Sports back at the University of Phoenix Stadium. This was the site of the 2006 state championship, 5A Division I, when Steve Bellis in his first year as head coach defeated the Mesa Mountain View Toros in a wild one, 40-20, and that was Steve's first ever coaching state championship. Of course, he won one with St. Mary's as a quarterback in 1984. Daniel Wegman. 
will boot this 18-yarder through the uprights and good, and that makes it a 10-0 lead. So an 18-yard field goal by Daniel Wickman. He's been doing it all season long, and here in the second quarter, as you look at some of the faithful over there of the Hamilton Huskies. So Hamilton off to an outstanding start. 11.57 left to go here in the first half. And I think if you are Steve Bellis and the brain trust of Hamilton, you got to be feeling awfully good about the way this thing has started off. So now Mountain Point coming out on the kick return. Good coverage there. Jamison Naoli and number 32, Syafa Chroma. And they've been doing it all season long on special teams. So the pride of Mountain Point, their second possession of the contest. Hamilton totally dominated that first half in terms of time of possession. And they come out running the ball. This is Craig, and Craig is going to pick up a couple of yards on the play. And it was Santana Sterling who got his nose in there and makes the ankle tackle up to the 34-yard line. A gain of two brings up second down and eight. Second quarter action, Mountain Point on the wrong side of a 10-0 ledger. Here's a left-handed Hinojosa on a screen to the dangerous Jalen Brown, and he's got the first down. Had only two catches in that week one matchup, and he's fired up. And I'll tell you, I think he's the key here today. I think uh, he actually had five catches, excuse me, in that first one. Five catches for only 50 yards, but he is such a vital part. He had over 1,200 receiving yards. We got a penalty after the 16-yard pass play. I think if Mountain Point is going to have success on offense, he has to make some big plays in this game. So this is going to move him back after the false start to the 45-yard line. Hinojosa hands off to Craig, and he's going to be stopped cold after a one-yard pickup. And it was Luke Parrish again, the 6'3", 222-pound senior linebacker. So the pickup of a yard brings up second and 14. Working from the 40, from their own 46, 47-yard line. And the quarterback throwing, and that one was tipped somewhere downfield. And once again, good defense. You see that Hamilton defense, that spilled defense, as Lane Reynolds will say, and trying to push everything to the sides. Third down and 14 coming up. And this is exactly where Hamilton's defense wants to keep Mountain Point. Here's the pass that goes nearly into the hands of linebacker Trevor Lane for Hamilton, but falls incomplete. And so the Pride will send out Ryan Sheehan for a punt. And the dangerous Cole Luke stands at his own 19-yard line. A high, booming kick. It's going to land inside the 20, and it's going to roll all the way down to the 11-yard line. So a great punt. 42 yards, no return, and you can't ask any more out of Ryan Sheehan than that last punt. And the Huskies will have it only their third possession of the game, and they start from their own 11-yard line. First down and 10. They'll send Tyrell Smith in motion. The give goes to Felix, and he is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Landry Payne does it again. Already a half a dozen tackles. Actually, Kevin Walters got the carry that time, and he is the injured player here for the Huskies. So a quick timeout. 10-0 lead for Hamilton as they lead it in this Division I state championship game. Second quarter action here. Hamilton with the football. And looking at a second down and nine from their own 12-yard line. The Huskies lead it 10-0 over the Mountain Point Pride who knocked them off in week one, 17-14. And the quarterback option and the pitch to Felix and he had no chance. Trayvon White got in there with lightning-like swiftness, and that's going to go for a negative three. So they're all the way back to about the nine-yard line, and now facing a third and 12. And Thigpen is going to the air. He's only thrown the ball a couple of times to the near side, and it's intercepted at the 41. Now Jalen Brown does it again. His fifth interception of the season. And that might be the play to get this Mountain Point team back in the ball game. 8.49 left to go here in the first half. It'll be first and 10 from the Hamilton 41-yard line. Hinojosa, the quarterback, 
Completed over 60% of his passes this year for 2,100 yards and 18 touchdowns. And a quick screen pass to the far side is complete to Craig. And Craig gets seven on the play. Well, I said Hinojosa, 2,122 yards. He had 29 touchdowns against nine interceptions. So he was pretty efficient. Second down and three, working from inside the Hamilton 35. Pitch out, running right, taking on a defender in Santana near the 32. And Craig is very close to a pride first down. Santana Sterling on the tackle for Hamilton, and they'll give him a fresh set of downs. First and 10 from the Husky 31-yard line. Hamilton leads it 10 to nothing. Second quarter action, Hinojosa, and being pressured, and his throw is incomplete. Jalen Jenkins with a menacing hit. Over in the flats on the far side, broke up that pass play. And a big play by this Hamilton defense. It brings up second down and 10. This will be the fourth play of the drive. Antonio Hinojosa over the middle, and he overshot his intended target. And that was Craig, and he wanted to pass interference. Jawan Jones and Luke Parrish back there. Juwan, the 6'3 junior. At free safety for Lane Reynolds' defense. So now third and 10 for the Pride, trailing 10-0. Hinojosa rolling out to the far side and now takes off with it and slips a tackle near the 30, gets it down to the 28. Santana Sterling, along with Caleb Pert, in on the tackle for the Huskies. A pickup of only two yards on the play, and it's going to bring up a fourth and eight. And this will prompt Coach Norris Vaughn to send out his field goal unit, Ryan Sheehan. This is a 44-yard attempt, and that ball is going to be blocked and picked up by Jawan Jones near the 24. Hamilton's football at their own 28-yard line. On a blocked field goal attempt, Hendricks shaken up on the play. As he gets up slow, Hendricks, who had a great game last week, it was 6.43 in that semifinal game against Desert Ridge where he stripped the quarterback and raced in from 15 yards out for a touchdown to give Hamilton the lead 14-7. And he's shaken up, and he's off the field. So Hamilton has it first down and 10 from their own 28-yard line. I believe it was Cole Luke who may have blocked that Field goal attempt and keeps the score at 10 to nothing. Now Thigpen going to work. Spread offense, handoff, running right. Here's T-Rex Smith going to work and bouncing off a couple of defenders. He slipped a tackle near the 32 and gains nine yards all the way up to the Hamilton 37-yard line. So bring up a second and one for Steve Bellis and the Hamilton Huskies looking for their seventh school state championship. Thigpen. And off to the races, and he broke one for 58 yards on a similar play last week as Landry Payne makes the tackle for the Mountain Point Pride, but not before he picks up 16 yards and a first down all the way down to the Pride 47-yard line. Thigpen rolling out on first down to the far side, looking into the sun-drenched side of the field, throwing, and Cole Luke gets Twirly Bird after he makes the catch. Pick up of close to eight yards and a great catch by Cole Luke heading to Notre Dame next year. A pickup of nine, second and one from the 38. Thig pin on the inside handoff. Felix picks up the first down and he will make his way down to the 33 of the Mountain Point Pride. Well, I'll tell you what, the opening drive and this 10-point Hamilton lead has literally taken the crowd out of the ball game. It is almost like a golf tournament over here on the home side and not a lot of noise being made. So first down and 10, they'll go with the quarterback option and down goes A.J. Thigpen. Good pursuit by Mitchell Framboni, the 6-2 defensive end. So a loss of three on the quarterback sack. Second and 13 as they are back to the 36, and Thigpen's going to be sacked for the second straight play. Landry Payne along with Framboni again. Number 30 was in there, Charlie Trevino. And Hamilton facing probably their longest third down conversion. Third and 18, they're all the way back to their 
Pride 41. Thigpen in trouble again, but dumps it off. And here is Walters inside the 30. I'll tell you what, I thought Kevin was going to be wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage. He is one of the strongest runners I think we have seen in the last couple of seasons in, in terms of maybe not p- putting up big all-state-like numbers, but I'll tell you, he is tough to bring down. Fourth down and about six. Hamilton going for it, and here's the end around. Here's Elijah Williams inside the red zone, and he's all the way down to the five. A touchdown saving tackle by Wesley Payne. Some razzle-dazzle by the Hamilton Huskies, and they've got a goal to go for the third time in this first half. Leading 10 to nothing, it is first and goal from the Pride four-yard line. An impressive 37-yard run by Williams, and now they go back to the ground attack. Felix tripped up by Landry Payne and eventually brought down by 26. And that's going to be Thomas Warren, who doubles up as a running back for Coach Norris Vaughn. Hoping that this will be the 41st victory against 10 losses in his Mountain Point coaching career. He came over from Wickenburg where he had a lot of success. It's goal to go on second down from the seven. And we got a penalty marker before the snap. And most likely a false start. So uh, have a costly penalty there. It's going to be second and goal. And now back to the 12-yard line. Eggers, the receiver to the far side. And Thigpen fakes to the left and dives ahead, gets it back to about the 10. Two-yard pickup and another tackle by Mitchell Framboni. He's made about three or four on this drive alone. Hamilton facing third down. Now with Daniel Wickman here, you've got a shot at, you don't want a penalty here. You're going to get a timeout. You don't want to get out of field goal range because obviously I think right now you take a you take the three points. Of course, there's 31 seconds left to play. Of course, Hamilton would like to get the touchdown here, but if you don't get uh, any sizable gain on this play, you can go for the field goal. Wickman has been very reliable this year, one of the best in the state. Thick pin with a high lofting pass over to the corner of the end zone, and that ball is caught. And I'll tell you what, Tyler Eggers wanted it a lot more than Trayvon White as he went up for the pass. It's a nine-yard touchdown pass, the second of the game for Thigpen. Eggers with his second consecutive game where he has scored a touchdown. Last week it was on a run, and today a nine-yard pass from A.J. Thigpen, and it's 16 to nothing Hamilton, and you can hear a pin drop in this stadium. Wickman in for the extra point, and it's 17 to nothing, Hamilton. So here in the final seconds of the first half, Tyler Eggers on a nice soft touch by A.J. Thigpen with that wonderful arm that he possesses. 24 seconds on the clock. Back to receive a couple burners, Ellis. And this one's going to be fielded up near the 25. This is Landry Payne up to the 40, the 45. He brings it up to the 50. 25-yard return for Landry Payne. And the Pride will have pretty good starting field position at their own 48, first down and 10. Antonio Hinojosa, the South Paul quarterback, 18 on the clock, back to pass, looking. He's going to loft it high and deep, near side, and picked off by Juwan Jones back to the 16. He wants to return it, and he's all the way up to the 40-yard line, a 24-yard return, and now Juwan Jones lost the ball, and I believe Mountain Point is going to recover. And there is still a few seconds left on the clock, and the pride will get it right back. All right, three seconds left to go here in the first half of this Division I state championship game. One more play for the Pride. And now they'll take over at the Hamilton 38-yard line. Back to pass is Hinojosa. They pick up Hendricks well on that long block, and the pass is going to be picked off again. And this is going to be Luke Parrish on a batted ball. I think that might have been Cole Luke. I didn't catch the number, but... The first half is in the books. 
a couple of interceptions here at the end of the first half. And nonetheless, Hamilton, as Hendricks is down again, and we'll go into the locker room, 17-0 Hamilton in this Division I state championship game. We'll be back with the second half on APN in just a moment. Well, welcome back to the home of the Arizona Cardinals, University of Phoenix Stadium. Jeff Lowry with you, APN Sports. Daniel Wickman getting set to kick off. High booming kick that's going to be fielded back near the three-yard line. And here's Craig up across the 25 to the right around the 28-yard line. Actually, the return belonged to Deontay Townsend. Yeah, get a personal foul against the Pride. And so they will have to start back at their own 13-yard line. First down and 10. The give goes to Warren, and Warren is up across the 20 and sputters his way up to the 22-yard line. Hendricks on the tackle after a nine-yard pickup brings up second and one. In that first quarter alone, Hamilton won the time of possession. They had the ball 11 minutes and 11 seconds of the 12 minutes. And in the first half, they were simply sensational. Nearly 19 minutes of clock, Hamilton possessed the ball to five of Mountain Point. Trevor Lane on the tackle as Hinojosa picks up the first down. He's up to the 25. So the quarterback keeper pays off. Hamilton had eight first downs in that first half to only two by Mountain Point. And total yards, Hamilton 164, Mountain Point 34. Great defense here as the Huskies step up big. And Hendricks, who has been hurt a couple of times, makes a big-time play. He was the initial tackler. And again, Santana Sterling always in the vicinity. If he doesn't make the tackle, he is the next guy to. Hinojosa on second and 10 and throwing, and that was a dangerous pass. Trying to hook up with Jalen Brown. Juwan Jones with an interception and a fumble recovery in that first half. And it's going to bring up a third down and 10. The pride trail, Hamilton, here in the third quarter, 17 to nothing. Hinojosa to throw, and it's picked off by Levi Sterling. Right around the 32, he is racing inside the 10, the 5. He takes it to the house. A costly turnover by the Pride, and Levi Sterling, the man of the moment with the interception, and Hamilton is in the driver's seat. And here in the third quarter, as he's being mobbed by his teammates, now lead it 23 to nothing. What a great moment for Levi Sterling. The 160-pound junior quarterback. And now Wickman in, and you could hear a pin drop earlier. You could still hear a pin drop because this crowd has been silenced by Levi Sterling's outstanding interception pick six for touchdown. 32 yards on the return. Wickman out of the hold of Sam Sasso. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. 24 to nothing. Hamilton has come in. They are, you know, I would say in some circles here in Arizona, they were considered an underdog, not because they're the three seed, but they lost to them earlier. And you hear some of the critics. And right now, Hamilton's come in here, and, I mean, they have literally punched this team right in the nose. Now going to work is Wesley Payne, still on his feet. Up to the 42, Eric Burks and Jalen Jenkins collaborating. So Levi Sterling with, I would say, the play of the game so far, the third interception by the defense of the Huskies. And here's a little toss pitch to Edwards, and he's up to the 47, Cole Luke. Collaborating with Trevor Lane and 17. Jawan Jones. So 24 to nothing is our score here in the third quarter. A pickup of six, second down and four. Handoff, running left. Warren gets the first down. Running with a little bit more purpose and intensity. 
Santana Sterling on the tackle. Eight minutes and 35 seconds, and the Huskies lead it 24 to nothing on a 32-yard pick six by Levi Sterling. Inside handoff again. They're going to pick up eight more yards as Jawan Jones had to come up from his free safety position to make the tackle on Thomas Warren. So a gain of eight brings up a second down and two. Working from the Hamilton 37, Warren gets the call again. Warren forging his way to first down yardage. Caleb Pert, Luke Parrish, and Lane on the tackle for the Huskies on defense. So move the change to first and ten. There's the pride trailing 24 to nothing here. Hinojosa eyeing over the defense. Sending Edwards in motion. He's back to pass. He throws to the flats, and that's caught. Craig slipped the tackle near the 30, and he's inside the red zone. Juwan Jones may be uh, the second leading tackler for the Huskies here today. Been in on eight tackles so far, and now it's first and 10 from the 14. This has been a very nice drive by the Mountain Point Pride as they try to reverse the time of possession going into the third quarter. Hamilton had dominated nearly 19 minutes of the first 24 belonged to the offense of the Hamilton Huskies. Inside handoff and the Husky defense led by Luke Parrish on a fantastic play makes the stop. Third down and 10. All right, let's see if Hamilton can flex their muscles here on defense and make the stop. Back to pass, Hinojosa, third and 10, lofts it up, far side, and it is caught. Touchdown, Mountain Boy Pride. How about that? Dalton Thorpe tipped it to himself, and the sophomore made a spectacular catch. And the Pride is on the board with 5.33 left to go here in the third period. A 14-yard pass play. I don't know if I would go for two here. They're going to go for it, and the pass is tipped up into the air by Lane. That was almost the fourth interception. Incomplete. Intended receiver was Edwards, and that cuts it to 24-6. Whereas at 24-8, that would pull you to within two. Probably not a bad idea. So Mountain Point is finally on the board. Two and a half quarters into the game. Felix number 15, Cole Luke number 11. And now doing the kicking honors is John Abercrombie, the sophomore. 144 pounds, probably a soccer player. And the left-footed kick, nope, he's a right-footed. First time I've seen him this year, and he will kick this one out of bounds at the one-yard line. So Hamilton will get 34 yards thanks to that penalty, and they're up to the 35. Hamilton with a 24-6 lead here in the third quarter. Five and a half on the clock. Walters going back to work. He had 58 yards on the ground in that first half. Also had uh, about 18 on uh, that one pass play. And picks up two yards here. Second down from the 37. All Hamilton really needs to concentrate on is just taking care of the ball. Thick pin. Gets the edge to the right side, and eight yards later, he's going to pick up the first down. Actually gained 10 on that play, and he's all the way up to the 47. First down and 10 for A.J. Thigpen, the 6'3 senior quarterback. And this offensive line has done a magnificent job here today. Plus, a great job by the defense. And Kevin Walters going back to work, and he's up to the 50 where he was tripped up by Aaron Blank. Gain of three brings up second and seven. Felix in there, Eggers number nine, Israel Simpson to the near side, the tight end, 35, Chad Nelson. And now Nelson goes in motion. He'll stand over there by Patrick Joseph. And the ball comes loose. This is the one thing that we just talked about. Felix on the tackle of Landry Payne as that ball was stripped away. And this is the kind of play that can get the Pride back into the ball game. They trail 24 to six. And Landry Payne and the Pride will take over on downs. Third quarter action. 3.50 on the clock. 
from the 32 of Hamilton, and the inside handoff is going to be thwarted by an outstanding defensive play by Ethan Hendricks, number 90. And there is a face mask on this play, and it's going against the Huskies on defense. Now Steve Bellis not too happy with the face mask, 15-yard penalty, and the fumble. And now the Pride with a chance to get back into this Division I state championship game. They're at the Hamilton 15. First down and 10, and the quarterback is going down. That's a sack by Big Q Cunningham. So big-time play by a prime-time performer. Pushes them back to the 17, a loss of two, second and 12 for the Pride. As we approach the three-minute mark here in the third period, he and Hosa in trouble, hit as he throws, aims for the back of the end zone. It was caught by Jalen Brown, but Cole Luke with blanket coverage, and he had no chance. Garrett Rand is in there, the outstanding freshman, number 93. Third and 12 for the Pride. Trying to cut into a 24-6 lead. Hamilton had the first 24 points scored. Hina Hosen and a throw over the middle. He had nowhere to go. A great pressure by the freshman, Garrett Rand, and the junior, number two, Quailing Cunningham. So on fourth down, they're going to elect to attempt a 35-yard field goal out of the hold of Hernandez. And this is uh, John Abercrombie. You wonder if Ryan Sheehan is injured. His kick is away. Plenty of leg on it, and he nailed it. An outstanding field goal there. Makes it 24-9. Deficit now 15, so it's a two-possession game. And that's why you kick the extra points, and (laughs) now you'd be down by 14 points. Now you're going to have to go for a two if you come up with a couple of unanswered touchdowns and this one is going to roll actually it was ruled out of bounds up around the 10 so Hamilton will have it first down and 10 from their own 35 yard line with the lead now cut from 24 to 15 big pin to Felix and he's going to be stopped in the backfield no gain on the play and it was Natrell Curtis one of the leading tacklers in this game double figures Second and 10. And, of course, Mountain Point got the three points as Thigpen throws to the far side. Uh, An outstanding fingertip catch by Simpson, but he was out of bounds incomplete. Third and 10 from their own 35. They got the three points off the turnover, the fumble. And now Hamilton may have to put some more points on the board. Thigpen back to pass. Third down and 10. Takes off with it to the 40. And I don't know if he got that first down. It's going to be awfully close. And they're going to mark the ball at the 46. And that will indeed give Hamilton the first down. What a gutsy run there by A.J. Thigpen. 11 yards and a first down. So Hamilton working from their own 46. Third quarter action leading 24-9. Inside handoff. Walters taking on defenders. And he's going to pick up seven on that play as they get it inside Pride territory. Kevin Walters continues to be the workhorse for the Hamilton Huskies. Looking at a second and seven. After a gain, or second and three, excuse me, after a gain of seven. And Walters again to the 46, and that is all. Well, I'll tell you what, the Trail Curtis is having a monster game. He has been in on about a dozen tackles here today. He has to come out by, by the new rule this year. If you lose your helmet, your fault, my fault, nobody's fault, you're coming out of the ball game. Third down. And two, end around run. Eggers is going to be stopped. Wesley Payne applying some pain. And now Tyler's going to have to sit out of play as he lost his helmet. And that'll bring up fourth down and one. And that is the end of the third period. We head to the fourth. Hamilton looking at a fourth and one. As we go come back here to the University of Phoenix Stadium, a home of the Arizona Cardinals. And Hamilton going for it on fourth down and one. 
Felix goes in motion to the far side. Long snap count. Let's see if Thigpen goes ahead and snaps it, or are they going to call timeout here? He's running that play clock down. As we start the fourth quarter, Hamilton with a 24-9 lead over Mountain Point. They will take the delay of game, and Thigpen will drop back to punt. Back to receive is Trayvon White, a 5'10", 155-pound senior. Line of scrimmage right there at the midfield stripe. On fourth down and six, no fake here, and Thigpen boots it high. He was sensational last week punting the ball. And this one's going to be down. Let's see. I think it went out of bounds before the 20, so to the 21. 29-yard punt. Not bad. And with 11.54 on the clock, the Mountain Point Pride will take over at their own 21-yard line, trailing by 15. First down and 10. And a broken play as... The handoff goes to the full or the halfback or the fullback, I should say, and that is Warren. Looked like he either tri- tripped before he got to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's second down and ten. The Pride with the football trailing 24 to nine. We're in the fourth quarter. We approach the 11-minute mark here. Hinojosa setting up a screen in the near side. This is Brown. He's going to be hit and dropped by Cole Luke. He tried to shake and bake, and Cole Luke did a great job just holding his ground. He didn't go after any of those head fakes. Held his ground. You can see why Notre Dame wants him so badly for next year. Third and 13. We're in the fourth quarter. There's Jalen Brown spread wide to the far side. Working from the 18-yard line and a stop in play and a delay a game going against Mountain Point. We'll redo first down, except now it is third and 18, back to the Pride 13-yard line. Jeff Lowry with you, APN Sports. Hina Hosa back to pass. As the pocket closes in, he takes off with it. He's up across the 20, the 25, and out of bounds right there. Well, he needed to get to the 31. He's going to be shy, and the punting unit will come back out for the Mountain Point Pride. Let's see if Cole Luke can... Get a nice return and put the Hamilton Huskies inside Pride territory. Sheehan stands back at his own 12. Kick is away. Luke makes the catch at the 42. 33-yard punt. Changing his field of direction. Up across the 40, and he's going to be wrapped up right there. Excellent coverage. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide for Cole Luke. David Jackpour, a 192-pound senior, made the play. And now Hamilton, as you get a wide shot of this beautiful facility that opened up in 2006. Home of the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals Stadium and home to the AIA's Division I state championship game. Gage Gage Jones at center. You got A.J. Thigpen with Nelson in motion. They'll start this drive from their own 40-yard line, leading 24-9. Pitch out, running left. Here's Walters. He's got some positive yards and then pushed out of bounds after close to eight yards on the pickup with Tyler Edgers on the far side and Bryce Holland, the outstanding guard, the left guard for this great offensive front line, also led by Patrick Joseph. And, of course, the bookends, Patrick Joseph on the right and Casey Tucker on the left. It was a pickup of close to nine yards, second and one from the 49, and A.J.'s going to call his own number, take on a couple of defenders, and he's all the way down to the 41 and close to a 10-yard pickup on what looked like a very nonchalant play. A.J. just makes it look easy. When he's going good, he certainly does. We're going to mark him down at the 42, a pickup of nine. B. Miller in motion, thick pin, trying to dump it off to Nelson. Probably the best thing there to just throw that one away. And it brings up a second down and 10. Fourth quarter action, Hamilton with the ball facing second down and 10, and they lead it 24 to 9. They scored the first 24 points of the game. The offensive line dominated the time of possession in that first half to the tune of 19 minutes to just five for the Mountain Point Pride. After a gain of one, Thigpen is going to be brought down, led by Landry Payne. He, too, has a dozen-plus tackles in this game for the pride of Mountain Point. 
So third and nine from the Pride 41-yard line. Hamilton looking for a big play. They need a first down to keep the drive alive. And the pass is complete to Israel Simpson. A pickup of close to 11 yards on the play. He gets a pat on the back from Patrick Joseph Sr. over on the far sideline, but more importantly, a first down. Pickup of 10 yards on the play. Just a sharp, clean pass from A.J. Thigpen. Hamilton keeps the clock a churning. Here's the handoff, and here's Kevin Walters along the far side. He's inside the 10. He's all the way down close to the goal line, marked down near the two. A 29-yard run for Kevin Walters. What a game this young man has had. If you start talking MVP, I think you, he's got to be at the forefront because he has picked up some tough yardage. Or you could give it to the offensive line. You could also give it to this defense. Collectively, they have been huge. And now the inside handoff, and Walters is into the end zone from two yards out. A huge touchdown for the Hamilton Huskies. Walters scoring for the first time, and it's 30 to nine. Now, I know we've got a lot of time left. I would never say this game is in the the old deep freeze, but I'll tell you what, that is a big time touchdown for this Hamilton team. Sasso to hold. The snap from Parrish and Wickman's kick is good. That will make it 31 to nine. Thus making it a 22 point lead. High fives and handshakes all over the board here. A 22 point lead here in this fourth quarter of play. And right now, the Pride have to get it going here. There's just not enough time to to really mess around here. And this kick is going to go out of bounds. I think that's a smart play. Give it to him at the 35. You, the one thing you don't want to see is you get another wide look at the University of Phoenix Stadium. Just a fantastic or uh, uh, facility here. You don't want that quick score. Make them work for it. And here's the pitch out. And here's Craig going to work. And I believe this is Garrett Craig's first run of the second half. Tackled by Lane. Up to the 40-yard line. It'll bring up a second down and five after a pickup of five. So a 31-9 lead inside handoff. And Santana Sterling, along with Hendricks and Parrish, right there to make the stop. Virtually no gain on the play for Craig. That's a favorable spot. So a gain of two brings up third down and three. Working from their own 42-yard line. Mountain Point trailing by 22. Hinojosa trying to throw to the near side. He's going to be dropped. And there's Hendricks again. Boy, he has had an outstanding semifinal and finals. Making a lot of tackles for this Hamilton defense. And and now the Pride forced to kick this one away. And they're going for the fake. And here's Payne going to work. And he did not make it. He is going to be about a half a yard shy as he was tripped up. And that was Cole Luke who got in there and made the first down saving tackle. And quite possibly Santana Sterling. Well, Hamilton will now take over near midfield. You kind of had a feeling with 6.09 that well, possibly Mountain Point was going to go for it and they didn't make it. So 6.09 on the clock, first and 10. From the Mountain Point 44-yard line, Thigpen rolling out, looking downfield, and he may just chuck this one. He's going to step out of bounds here. He'll be tackled. Actually, he's tackled back near the 48-yard line, and he's going to lose some yardage. Thought maybe he'd just go ahead and chuck it or throw it, throw it out of bounds or run out of bounds. He was trying to keep himself in play, and big 75 again, Curtis on the tackle for the Pride. Apparently, they're going to say he picked up a yard on the play. Forward progress to the 43. Clock stops. Second and nine. Running to the short side of the field, and Felix had absolutely no room to breathe there. He's going to be hit for a loss. And that's some good containment there by Kyle Spite. Clock continues to wind down. Third down and 
Let's call it third and 12. Screen pass and a dangerous pass there. A little surprised that Hamilton would have called that with a 22-point lead and a dangerous throw there by Thigpen, and now it's fourth down, and Hamilton may have dodged a bullet there. That could have easily been a pick six for the Pride, which could have put them right back in the ballgame. But instead, it goes incomplete, fourth down. High towering punt. And this one's going to land at the 25. It'll be down back at the 28. Only a 19-yard punt for Thigpen. So now 423 left to play here in regulation. Mountain Point trailing 31 to 9. And they'll have it at the 27. First down and 10. Hinojosa going to the air. Dumps it off to the near side. It's caught near the 32. And racing up to about the 34-yard line with his third catch of the day is Edwards. Gain of seven on the play. Brings up second down and three. Now it's been a long afternoon for Coach Norris Vaughn. They need three for the first down, and Eric Burks came up from the other side and made the tackle. An outstanding solo tackle by Eric. An outstanding young man getting a chance to get some downs here. They do pick up the first down. It's first and ten. Really intelligent young man. Number five, Eric Burks, came over from Desert Vista. 6'3", about 235 pounds. Outstanding athlete. His two older brothers, better known as the Twin Turbos, played at Indiana. Both got a full-ride scholarship. As this pass complete the Craig over the middle, and he is gone. And the Pride have scored on a quick strike. Craig scores, and the lead is now 31-15. Extra point by Sheehan. The kick is good, so Craig gets a pass over the middle from quarterback Antonio Hinojosa. And it's 31-16. And now you have to wonder if this is going to be the onside kick. You're down two possessions. Mountain Point will be forced to go with the onside kick here. They got, it looks like they got both their kickers out there. Amber Crombie, quick skip, squib kick, and it's going to be covered up at the 49 of Hamilton. So a nice job there by, I think that was Edgars on the recovery, and Hamilton has it first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Fourth quarter action. Hamilton with a 31-16 lead, an unusual score in football. Thig pin under center. And all they want to do is get a couple of first downs here and eat up some clock. And they'll give it back to Walters, who is over 100 yards. Yet another tackle by Nitrell Curtis with 3.29 on the clock, and the Pride called timeout. He has definitely been one of the stars, and I would have to give him the most valuable player on the Pride side if you're – given players of the game. And there's Norris Vaughn. Seems like a wonderful guy. Uh, Got a chance to meet him a couple of years ago after he took over the helm at Mountain Point and just uh, loves coaching. And he really, truly cares about these players. He is a player's coach. Second down. Walters going back to work, battling, still churning them legs, and he's going to get the first down. Kevin Walters, a determination run. He just keeps churning them legs. And down to the 39, and Mountain Point is going to call another timeout. 3.17 on the clock. Walters picks up about eight on that last play and gets the first down. Gage Jones doing the snapping honors. Thig pin under center. Walter still in the backfield. Over 100 yards rushing. Thig pin calls his own number, gets the edge, and they grab his left ankle and drop him. A very dangerous way to tackle somebody, Kenneth Lacey. And that is the third and final timeout by the Pride. So they better hope for a turnover and an onside kick. Steve Bellis. If Hamilton holds on and wins, it would be his fifth state championship with the Hamilton Huskies, the fifth in his career. 
and it would tie him for the all-time record of Jess Parker of the Mesa Mountain View Toros. As Walters got hit in the backfield once, slipped the tackle by Campbell with that NFL tackle and still loses a yard. Third and 11. It would tie Steve Bellis for the big school record for most state championships by a head coach. Here comes the blitz and looks like encroachment against the prime. They'll make it third and six. Well, 81 is now checked into the lineup here. Nick Beatty for the Hamilton Huskies. Third and six from the 35. Inside handoff. Walter still trying to battle for first down yardage. And again tackled by the Trail Curtis. I bet he's got about 16 tackles here. He was at a dozen, and we were back in the third quarter. And we're down to the final 143. Fourth and inches for Hamilton. A first down here should seal the deal. Big pin. Eyes over the defense. Hamilton with a 15-point lead. Minute and a half left to go, and the handoff, Walters. Ah, great defense by the Pride. They're not giving up yet. Aaron Blank made the stop. They're going to have to bring the chains out here in this fourth quarter, and it is a first down Hamilton Huskies. And that should seal the deal here at Cardinal Stadium. They assume the victory formation. Inside a minute left to play here in regulation. Down to 50 seconds. And they are standing and cheering on the far side. The Hamilton Huskies looking for their seventh state championship in school history. They bolted out to an early lead, 10 to nothing in the first half, 17 to nothing in the first half. Uh, Levi Sterling. Pick six made it 24 to nothing, and here in 2012, the Hamilton Huskies have captured the Division I state championship as they mob A.J. Thigpen near midfield. Final score from the home of the Arizona Cardinals, the Huskies 31, the Pride 16. What a win and what a character win for the Huskies. They lost their first two games of the season, losing the state title on this very field a year ago. But reel off 12 consecutive victories en route to a state championship. I want to congratulate you and the Pride for a great season, a great competitive effort this afternoon. Bryce Holland uh, with me now on the newly crowned champs. Uh, Bryce, how's it feel? Oh, it's it's better than anything. I mean, it's a great feeling. It's something we'll remember for the rest of our lives. I mean, 48 minutes for the rest of our lives, this is it. What do you think was the key here tonight? Our key, we, we pounded the ball. We got him tired, and we just kept pounding him all night. We just kept trying to pound him. Well, you did a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Baby, we're number one. We told you we came back, baby. Nobody can take that away. Coach Reynolds, uh, first off, congratulations on a great win. Uh, 
Just talk about this defense and their performance here today. Well, I tell you what, the defense all year long just uh, got better and better and better and better as the weeks went by. And uh, all the credit goes to the kids. They did a great job and uh, they did what we asked them. And uh, we came out of here with a, with a big win against a very good football team. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Levi Sterling, uh, the big interception. Uh, walk us through that play. Uh, I just saw the quarterback go for a pass, so uh, I looked at the receiver, and he did a slant. Number two was coming out on the swing route, so I just sat there. He pumped it, and he just threw it to me, so that's it. Uh, talk about this defense. Uh, I mean, they were big here today. Of course, the offense put some points up there, but. Oh, yeah. Um, this defense is the best defense I've ever played for. Um, a lot of us are coming back, so I mean, like, eight juniors, four seniors. It's just it's rebuilding. It's not really rebuilding year, but right. we're just going to take it next year, I hope. So, well, congratulations Thank on you. a great year and a championship. Thank you. All right, AJ Thigpen, congratulations. I know there was a lot of pressure on you to come up big here, and you certainly did. And uh, what was the feeling uh, in that locker room before the game started? Uh, it was just focused. We all knew what we had to do. Still remember the feeling from last year getting on that bus. Didn't know what to say. Didn't know even what happened. And uh, we just came together as a team. We talked before the game started, and we knew what we had to do to come out here with the W. Well, we congratulate you, and that was a big win here today. Thank you. Congratulations on the big victory. Uh, well, you guys did a great job. You controlled the line of scrimmage. Tell us about it. Oh, uh, you know, we definitely had a great game. I mean, we were really physical up front, and uh, we played together, played hard, and played fast, and it was a really good game. Uh, How does this feel? It feels amazing. I mean, there's no better way to end your senior year than with a championship. You guys talked about it and, uh, during the summer, during the spring. You come out here. Lose your first two games. Now you've reeled off uh, what, 13, 14 in a row here. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, I'll tell you, uh, you've been here since day one. Yes, sir. And uh, how does this one compare to the other ones, the way they lost last year and coming back? I tell you what, it's been tough a whole year. You know, I don't think any of the coaches got out of our system till tonight. And uh, this is a great win. I was here the first one was awesome. But the way these kids came back, everybody had us down, saying we were going to come back. But these kids worked their butt off, and they came back. This is probably the most satisfying one. They're all satisfying, but the way these kids bought back from adversity, when everybody in the state, every place said they're done. Well, we weren't. The kids really proved that tonight. They were awesome kids. Well, it was a great game plan. Thank you very much. Yeah, we, we decided we're just going to run right at them tonight, and our kids came off the ball and did that. Well, Coach Ziders, congratulations. Thank you. Come here, Ralph. Well, Coach, uh, first off, congratulations on a great victory and uh, a little old school football. We saw just some good old smash mouth football, a little change of plans, but uh, boy, that line was great and the defense was sensational. I think we went to where our strength were, were and we didn't try and get fancy. We just said, let's do what uh, got us here, and uh, our kids executed it to a T, especially the defense, and then the offensive line probably didn't play any better than what they played tonight. Say, what's a word or two about this team this year? Persistence staying the course. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is my daughter, Emerson. <laughs> Coach Bellis, thank you very much. This has been a presentation of APN Sports. Arizona's leader in amateur sports coverage. Again, Hamilton wins their seventh title, 31-16 over Mountain Point. Jeff Lowry from Glendale. So long, everybody.